Floods are New Zealand's most common natural hazard. In July 2020, over $200 million was invested to prepare regions for a changing climate. So Stay Highway 50 is a critical route for the foothills in Hawke's Bay and getting agriculture and produce to market. Obviously we've been monitoring this over the last three to five years and we've noticed the river is moving closer to the road and presenting a, a really high resilience risk for this part of the State Highway 50 network. So this project is about building community resilience by protecting a key infrastructure route for Central Hawke's Bay. We've been in discussions with NZTA for some time over the um, progressive erosion risks at State Highway 50 and that we needed to do something to prevent this approach on the north of the bridge from uh, being further eroded. This project on the Waipawa River is a game changer and shows how we can work together to make our community more resilient in the face of the changing climate. We acknowledge that every river is unique and in the recent years there's been quite significant erosion happened on both sides of the river. Our main focus was to provide protection for the, for the main asset, which is the bridge, and prevent further erosion for both banks. As part of the flood scheme, to provide a healthy active edge, which includes trees that provide protection from erosion, and also to provide an appropriate flood defence in the area. To achieve the environmental outcomes, we looked at how the project was going to be done, looked at the effects the project would have on the local environment, and looked at ways that we could manage those effects, and also look at how we could leave the site in a better state than it was before. One way we managed these effects was looking at how the project was going to reshape the riverbed to train the river into the river centre, but also how it could provide better habitat for the local birds. It was also about removing the weeds from the riverbed and providing a safer environment. Effectively the, the project has taken three months to get to this point. The process of bringing in our concrete Ekmon blocks which we manufacture at, at our site there in Taradale. So they were transported down here to effectively form the edge protection on the left hand bank. There's approximately 47,000 cubic metres of fill being put in to uh, both the left and right bank to retain the scoured areas. As part of the, the whole project was to form a, a river diversion which required 32,000 cubic metres of cut. Earthworks was a, was a significant part of the project. Once the, the Akmon groins were constructed and put in place, there was then the requirement to install the what we call rope and rail groins, which involved cutting over 3,000 metres of railway iron and um, 10,000 metres of wire rope. This is on both sides of the bank, so they're driven using our, our digger and vibrating head and connected in, in such a manner that they will train the river back into its channel should it try and push out into the edges again. So that combined with over 6,000 willow and poplar poles, we've driven the poles into the filled material during the winter months, so uh, hopefully with the right conditions they'll strike and, and form a good edge protection over the next six months to a year. It's really important for us to employ local businesses. And for this project, we employed the Kaitiaki Rangers, who planted native trees and willows along the Awa. So the purpose of Te Wai Maori Trust is focused around environmental restoration, uh, supporting our whānau into roles of Kaitiaki Tanga. And so in 2020, where we were able to employ 10 whānau into Kaitiaki Ranger roles, and coming now into 2021, we've been growing the team into about 15 Kaitiaki Ranger roles. So we're here today to help HBRC plant up natives behind me here, thousand plants and regenerate what was once here. We also been doing willow pole planting along the riverbed to help retain the riverbed during flooding and stop erosion. So we have eight rangers on board at the moment four in each ute out there doing it, getting the job done. We are also looking to expand at our yard at Waihiki Marae. Uh, we're building a nursery there with approximately 75,000 plants that will home and then be able to be planted on jobs like this in the future and that will provide uh, three more jobs minimum for more hapu to jump on and get working with their whānau and improve the lifestyle of the locals in Waihik. This project has seen key collaboration between central government as an investor and local government as well as other funding partners such as Waka Kotahi and it has seen great iwi collaboration. So we're really stoked with the result of this project. We've had some really positive feedback both internal and externally. We've left the community in a more resilient place than it was. We've managed to support local business and we've improved the environment as a result.